Yo, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I just got back from work. It is uh, 10.46 p.m. right now. And I'm just eating some food. I got, I still have Wendy's too. Got my Wendy's, I still got chili cheese fries, and I got some quick check food. Don't you guys hate it when you buy something and you expect exactly the, uh, the exact amount? So I went to quick check and I bought these um, popcorn chicken, 40 pieces, right? Do you think this looks like 40 pieces? No, it does not look like 40 pieces. I open it and it only... Oh shit! Oh, that's my life. Did you see that? I almost dropped it. Oh my gosh. But that does not look like 40 pieces. That looks like 20 pieces in my view. I don't know. You can't fit 40 pieces in this. I, I'm serious. Like, you got You need a bigger freaking bag. But, got some... Got throw this away. Got some iced tea. And, uh, god damn it. I got some cookie dough pie. I don't know, do you guys like cookie dough? I like, I like cookie dough. It tastes really good. Uh, this whole thing was like eight bucks. It was like 40 pieces with a cookie dough and two drinks. I got these two raspberry iced teas. Pretty cheap, it's like only a dollar. So yeah, I'm also on my computer just uh, checking YouTube and just, I just booted it up. Because I really, it's really bad for you to let your computer still run and uh, oh yeah I finished the game I finished rendering the game uh, gray part 5 so I'm gonna upload that on YouTube and then I'll see where that goes from there so yeah I have to test something too I have to test out the rendering like render it to your computer because for some reason when you go if you use Sony Vegas like I do and you edit your video I mean just where's the hell is the I can't move the freaking mouse what's going on Oh, it's just loading. Okay, anyways, um, yeah, if I'm trying to render the video, just render it, not upload it directly, because I want it to be on the computer's desktop. So, I'm going to have to figure some shit about this out, but until then, I'm going to watch some PewDiePie videos, because uh, he has a new video of The Last of Us gameplay, and I, I want to watch it, because I didn't finish it. This is The Last of Us. The wallpaper is pretty much, um, it's a really, really nice game. I saw it on PewDiePie's gaming commentary, so I really want to buy it. So yeah, I'm gonna check out his game. I'm gonna check out his videos. I'm gonna go on Tumblr on my phone and or my or the computer. What the hell am I doing? And uh, yeah, eat some food. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, peace. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Another vlog for you guys. As usual, I'm just in my room right now, and it's kind of messy in my room. If you guys don't, if you guys don't see it or notice, I have a lot of shit in my room. I'm um, just on my Tumblr about YouTube. And I was looking on Facebook, and I realized I was searching this America's Worst Cherries. Uh, and trust me, like, for me, because I don't really, I don't really donate anything or shit to charities because I don't really believe in, like, a lot of those organizations. So let's check out the uh, America's Worst Cherries. Number one is Kids Wish Network. And the solicitors are $127.8 million, and paid is only $109 million. It's not, it's pretty much all this shit isn't even gonna go to charity. Most of it is just pretty much just for people in their pockets. And people don't really realize this until they see the actual evidence and proof. So, in my, this is my theory. If you are gonna give to a charity, please know what you're gonna give for or give to. Because sometimes they just can, they can just scam you easily. So, I have never paid anything for charity, but... First, for me, I would have to. I would pay. Yeah, I would pay for my hometown in the Philippines because everything is poor over there, and America just fucked up pretty much. Even though I live in America, like there's a lot of fucked up shit going on. So I'm just gonna keep it real and honest with you guys. Um, so I'm also check out my vlogs. I got a hundred, a five hundred and four vlogs so far uploaded on my channel. It's pretty cool. I mean, um, being a, being a vlogger and just vlogging about your life and talking. And people actually listening and people actually viewing your videos is actually kind of interesting. Um, so, so far, like, like for example, that vlog and then um, the, the thumbs up and the views and people. And it, this is just so far the stats for my, for my vlog channel. 437,970, 229 subscribers. It's not a lot, but I mean, eh, you'll get some, I'll get somewhere. It just takes a while. I'll just keep making vlogs all the time. So, 
uh, checking, I was checking that, I was checking, um, oh yeah, PewDiePie's video, he was playing The Last of Us, it was a pretty good game, pretty good, he's part, he's on part 5, and I'm on, I didn't play it yet, because I didn't buy the game, but yeah, um, just organizing my room, in a bit, uh, it's just messy, messy, got, uh, shoes, on top of shoes, on top of clothes, on top of, like, that's, like, college shit that I had to deal with, and all this, also got this, uh, UPS papers to fill out. Um, I got a lot of papers, pretty much. I got my domo. He's just chilling. The happy domo. Um, I'm trying to decide where to place him because there isn't really much stuff I can, like, I can't really place him as much anywhere because everything's all crowded and shit. And I got a domo piggy bank combined with a domo plushie. I got this for, like, seven bucks, I think, at, like, this Asian place in, in Mitsua. It's called, it's in New Jersey. It's called Mitsua. It's like all Asians. Um, I guess I could put him here for a bit in the computer. Just he's just chilling. So and I was charging my iPhone. It's already 100%. So it's all good. It's 1:32 in the morning right now. And uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm on Temple Run 2. I'm playing. And look, guys, I beat. You can add me if you want. Legendary Video Gaming. Now let me just let that. You see? Now I have 40 million. I hit 40 million. That's my highest score ever. So I'm going to continue playing that for a bit later on. My highest score I actually got was like 30 something, 33 million I guess. And then I just like gave up on like getting the high score. But I mean I'm going to keep trying. But yeah. Um, I still got some Wendy's. I got I to gotta heat that chili cheese fries. I got my brisk iced tea. And I also got this Lipton one. I got to put this in the, uh, the refrigerator because I'm not drinking it. It's not even cold anymore. I got my wallet in here my my, my uh, glasses if you guys didn't know I wear contacts and glasses so yeah that's like two things you should remember about me and here is like a lot of mixed shit um got like vans keychains and gadgets and gizmos and my my old iPod touch that I used to use um it's broken like it's not fully broken but like eh oh well um also got these these are um airsoft pellets because I like from the past I used to play airsoft a lot uh, there's a lot of shit down here I didn't even realize got watches and uh, chains and stuff and uh, yeah it's all cool I mean I used to, like a mix of shit combined with more shit so and I used to use this box to hold all that shit so I might have to like take all this out and then I'll just place it there and I'll use the bag for something else so yeah I'm gonna get some food and I'm just chilling in my room Making YouTube videos as usual, just my daily life. I just make vlogs for you guys as usual. So, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I was watching a video by I don't know if you've heard of him. It's called Sexy Phil on YouTube. He's pretty uh, famous. He's like 2.5 million subscribers right now, or six, 2.6 million subscribers. And uh, what was it? He was talking about his video, like his daily Tuesday video. I watched it today, um, and the question of the day that he asked was, "What what is your happiness? And it took me a while to think of it, because I was just like, what makes me happy? What really does make me happy? What makes me, like, always, like, bright and energetic? And it, I think if I can clarify and I can get down to the basis of my happiness, Honestly speaking, I mean, most of the happiness that I get is from YouTube because I make YouTube videos, I like to upload vlogs, I like to make videos for people. Uh, when, when it comes to like requests or something, like people ask me for videos and I make the video and then I upload the video. Uh, there's like, I, I would say shopping, it makes me happy, but it's only temporary happiness because as you guys know, I've had, I have a lot of clothes. And when I buy something, I feel happy because I purchased something that I like. But uh, at the end of the day, it's just like a piece of material that doesn't really control you as a person. So I wouldn't say shopping makes me happy. Shopping does make me happy, but it's only temporary. When it comes to like a self-fulfilling, like for a long time happiness, I would have to say YouTube. Just YouTube because in general, I mean, YouTube has really shaped me as a person and being consistent with the YouTube videos is just like amazing like I like to do YouTube videos it's just something I enjoy and I already uploaded my it took me a while but I uploaded the latest gray commentary because I didn't finish the gameplay so I mean that that's one oh yeah shout uh, my 
uh, viewer Sophia Grady wanted a shout out, so shout out to Sophia. Uh, the com comment she said was like mangoes, lol. But I can, can I get a shout out, please? So I did. There's your shout out. Um, feel free if you guys want a shout out. I mean, I'll just give you a shout out. Oh, yeah, shout out to Chris. I don't know. He has like a num numbers on his uh, channel. I don't forgot what the numbers are. But he wasn't. He wanted a shout out because he's been watching my vlog since the day I started making videos, and that was like way back in like oh. Oh, the 2012, but like, um, like my gra before my graduation of high school, I he was the one who watched my vlogs a lot. So yeah, um, and oh yeah, he also had a good, a good, good point. Uh, he wrote something on my channel explaining, or so, I think it was some other viewer. I think it was like, I forgot who, but let me just check. Um. Yeah, oh yeah, shout out to Ninja Noodles because she also watched my vlogs a lot too and she comments on my videos. Um, who was it that commented on my video? Oh yeah, Chris. It's Chris97898 and uh, that's his channel so you guys check him out if you want to. Uh, what was the video? Some comment. Uh, wait, what? Oh yeah, this is his comment. Uh, this was two days ago from my other vlog. He was like, bro, honestly, I've been watch I've been a subscriber since day one. You spelled sense wrong, by the way. Just S-I-N-C-E, not S-E-N-C-E. S-E, I mean. Uh, but you fall in love too quick. That's probably your problem, man. But you're a chill-ass dude, and I like your vids. But you need to hit me up with a shout-out, LOL, and show us more pickups, bro. Don't let a girl bring you down, homie. Um, the, the thing about me when it comes to relationships is the fact that when like I think everyone everyone is different when it comes to like expressing who they like expressing themselves when it comes to relationship because I think guys and girls we all can agree that when you first meet somebody you don't really know what to expect you don't know how they are you don't really know what they like do for a living like what they, like, until you get to know them but at first glance you pretty much get a first impression and a lot of times um girls and guys we have like some well guys for me because i'm a guy the tendency for us is if we think a girl is cute we will think about it sometimes but though a lot of guys are shy and that's where majority of the guys who are confident will just go up to a girl and be like hey i think you're really cute and except set or of the case conversating conversating and i mean for me when it came to like it wasn't really hard expressing myself like honestly speaking because when I was growing up, I really, I was more of like, I get, like, I could say, I guess I could, you could say I'm like an outcast. Because when I was growing up, I didn't really have a lot of friends. And, and I always was, I was, <laughs> I always was, I usually was alone. So I think I got used to being alone. I got used to um, dealing with how to, like, dealing with things, how to be alone. Because a lot of girls and guys out there, some of the, some people can't really uh, deal with them being by themselves like they need to be with somebody or be with someone um, and for me I mean trust me I don't really need a girl or any or my friend to actually come to my day and just be like yo man let's go chill out or um, let's like if it's a girl like let's go see a movie like I, I, it's my choice like I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I'm gonna do in my life and no one's opinion matters at all because that's that's how life is you gotta you gotta think about it in a really general sense, cause you can't think like a lot of people out there. They like to compare themselves to other people, and that's really bad. Because you gotta do what you can in your life to make you happy. Doesn't matter what it is. It might be you might uh, like to draw something. You might like to make videos on YouTube. You might like to play a hobby like a sport or something like basketball or softball or whatever the case may be. But deep down in the end, you have to find out what you want to do with your life. You have to find out what you want to pursue. A lot of people, some guys out there don't really, most guys out there don't really know what we're going to do in life. For me, because it took me a year to realize what I wanted to do with my life. Um, because I took a year off of school. So, and I'm going to go back to school this year. Which is going to be crazy because I was always, the, in high school, actually growing up, like, Growing up and I going to school, I realized a lot of shit is repeated down your throat and you don't really need it. That's just how I think because 
people may not know this, but like when you are in high school and you pretty much uh, go through the process of like freshman year to sophomore year to junior year to senior year, you think after like high school, you're like, wow, I just learned a bunch of shit that I didn't really need in my life. And I think that's the problem nowadays with education because a lot of people think that if you have this type of like intelligence, you are suitable for this type of job or something like that. In my view, that's not even the case. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. That's just how it is. But without credentials and without like all these stupid ass papers in life, you wouldn't be anywhere in life, pretty much. Like, if I never graduated from my middle school, I wouldn't go to high school. If I didn't graduate high school, I probably wouldn't go to college. Even though you don't, you just need like a GED or something at least. Um, but I, I was thinking a lot about my life and I think I was thinking a lot about like my past and everything and you kind of get that just like when if you just sit down and you think for a very long time about your life from start to finish until now and then you realize like wow I, I've been through so much I've accomplished many so little or I accomplished somewhat a lot I think a lot of people out there, they have, everybody, in my view, every single individual on this earth has potential for anything. Doesn't matter what. You can do anything with your life, as long as you have the determination and the motivation to do it. For example, me. I make YouTube videos. I make a video every single day. And that that's not even, a, that's not a lot. It's only like 10 minutes out of my day. That's it. To me, that's nothing. So... I mean, some people are just, like, so lazy. People don't want to do shit. People don't want to... Uh, they don't want to get a job. They don't want to go to work. They don't want to go to school. Like, I mean, I don't go to school, but... I try to do what I... What makes me happy, pretty much. That's YouTube videos. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to pursue YouTube as a career. And if you guys didn't know that. And a lot of people out there... Don't really realize... What YouTube... Like, there's so many inspirational videos on YouTube that I've seen so many people that have been starting how I started and then they became famous and they became of course they need to do the effort and they became something with themselves like it's their full-time job full-time career and I'm just like wow it inspires me and it motivates me to do the same thing to try my best and to keep trying and to give you guys quality I mean most of the videos you see now are like full HD or 720p at least standard definition qual standard high definition quality so yeah but when I when I think back with my life and I think back like a lot of the memories that I've made with my friends my my past friends and a lot of things that I have done with my life and what I accomplished and I realized that I didn't really accomplish anything as much I really the only thing I could accomplish was uh, making YouTube videos because I always wanted to make YouTube videos and it, it happened. I kept making videos every single day. I kept making a vlog. I, I mean, it, it's just something that people... I mean, people have... The, every individual has something that they love doing. It doesn't have to be YouTube. But for me, I mean, I love YouTube. I just love making videos. And I just like... I like motivating. I like inspiring. And I inspired some people on YouTube. Surprisingly. Um, on my fashion channel, there's some video... Some... Ch uh, YouTubers, like, started out, like, just started out making videos, and they thank me because they, I motivated them to make a video. And that means a lot to me. That means that what I'm doing is helping others. And, I like, I like to help. I like to give advice. I like to motivate. It's, it's a really, really good feeling deep down in my heart. And I think a lot of people out there are just misconstrued with, like, the haters, people on YouTube, and they just don't understand what... The people really tr are trying to put forth is not because of money. It's not because of fame. It's just a fact of helping. And when I'm on like Tumblr or something, there are so much people out there who have like depressed. They're always depressed. A lot of a lot of things on Tumblr that I've seen is usually something that is depressing, and that's sad because a lot of people out there don't really realize they have a lot of things to offer for this world. It's just sad because a lot of people think down of themselves and. Trust me, I have those days where I have to think, I think negatively of me, but then I realize at the end of the day that I'm actually tr at least trying to do something with my life. And, I mean, uh, call me heartless, but, like, a lot of people out there don't really realize, like, 
you have to stop caring what other people think. You gotta stop caring what other people say about you. You just gotta keep doing you. It doesn't matter what it is. Just keep doing whatever you're doing that makes you happy. And if it makes you happy, then any other person's opinion does not matter to you at all. It shouldn't matter to you at all. And I'm just giving you guys advice so you guys can use this in your own day-to-day -day life. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean my room, drink some tea, and then make play some video games and record some gameplay and commentary and... Yeah, and Domo's just like, just up. But it, I wish I had the big Domo. You guys didn't know this, but I used to have a bigger Domo, like, huge. Like, I can hug it, that kind of Domo. And if you're wondering where it is, I, I gave it to a girl I liked, which is a stupid, stupid excuse. I mean, excuse, excuse. It's a stupid thing I did, because the girl turned out to be a slut. And it actually, yeah, she's a slut, pretty much. Yeah, not good. Sluts, slurs, whores, I mean, you're still a person, nonetheless, but do you. I don't care. <laughs> I just regret. I regret being a lot of the time a nice guy. If you haven't realized, guys, I'm usually a chill-ass dude, if you met me in, in real life. But a lot of people out there take me for granted and take me like an, as a nice guy. And I don't like, I've always been pushed around, I've always been uh, taken advantage of, and I've always been taken for granted, so... If you guys are a nice guy, don't stop being a nice guy just just because of my opinion about it. But be half of an asshole. Like, be half an asshole and half a nice guy. Trust me. I mean, a lot of girls out there that I know prefer an asshole. And I think the reason being, I, I can make a lot of advice videos right now. But I think a lot of girls just want a challenge. A lot of girls, that I've, I've noticed that a lot of girls just want a challenge. They don't want somebody who's predictable and you know they're gonna do this same shit every single time like compliment you and uh, they're gonna just like compliment like give you a morning text every single day of your life and they're sweet they're too sweet or just too too nice and too predictable and as an as an asshole I mean most guys that are they just don't care and that's a good I think that's a good thing because when you're an asshole you don't give a shit about whatever per like whatever person's opinion is about you and I think that's a lot of times, like, good, because I kind of inherited that when I was growing, like, when I was changing, like, my, who I really was. Because I really thought, like, I'm a nice guy. Like, I, deep down, I'm a nice guy. But I know I make mistakes, I, I, like everybody else, we're all human after all. But, um, I don't know, I just, I just want to keep trying my best to see to it that I'm happy and to see to it that other people out there are motivated and inspired and, they can do something with their life instead of just sitting around and being lazy as most people are. So, anyways, I'll make another video for you guys. More vlogs to come. More video. Another video of vlog tomorrow. Comment, rate, subscribe, favorite that video, share with your friends. Give the video a like. Check out my links down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I got questions my viewers to ask me on my fashion channel. I'm gonna get straight to it. Peace.